In Oracle Cloud, you can create custom dashboard widgets to visualize specific metric data, alarm data, log, or trace data. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create custom metric widgets to collect and analyze data that's not available on an out-of-the-box dashboard. Let's get started. Click the navigation menu, go to Observability and Management, and then under Application Performance Monitoring, click Dashboards. You can either edit an existing dashboard, or as in this example, I will click to create a new dashboard. Next, you must define the filter for the monitoring data you want to see. To do that, click the Filters tab. Search for and select the Metric Dimension Filter option. Alternatively, I can drag and drop any filter directly to the filter section of the dashboard. Now, select the metric dimension namespace from the drop-down list. In this example, I select OCI Compute Agent as the namespace input, and then save the changes. Next, I select the metric name input. In this example, it's CPU Utilization, and then click Save Changes. Next, select the dimension name input. In this example, I select resource display name as the dimension name, and then click Save Changes. Now, I see the metric dimension filter and the compartment filter I just configured on the dashboard. Using these filters, I can select a compute instance in a specific compartment, or I can click the vertical ellipse to edit duplicate or delete the filter. In this example, I enter compute instance as the filter label. Next, let's create a query based widget by applying the filter we just created. Click the widgets tab and then click the plus icon. Now, select create query based widget from the drop down list. I can select the Enable for Cross-Service option to enable this widget across all related Oracle Cloud services. Now, I select the namespace, the resource group, and enter or paste the query I want to use, and then click Run. Now, a list of the data points from this query displays. On the Visualization tab, I can select the chart type I want to see. In this example, I select the line chart. Now, I can see a line for each compute instance. Add the input and specify the name and label for the input. Now, I will use this input in the query using the expression for the parameter compute. Now, I will link the input to the compute instance filter that I previously created. So now, the widget responds to the filter options I previously selected. As I change the filter options, I can see the data on the chart updating in real time. Next, I select the option to allow multiple values and save. On the About tab, I enter the name of the widget, select a compartment, enter a description, and then I uncheck the option to enable this widget for across other Oracle services. When I am done configuring the widget, click Save the Changes. Next, let's configure the filter to display multiple compute instances on the widget. As I add and remove the compute instances, the line chart updates in real time. Next, I click the About tab, add the name for the dashboard, and then click Save Changes.
I see the line chart displays with multiple compute instances. Now, I've demonstrated how to add a metric dimension filter to a dashboard widget.